Ra đi Oh my god, look at her face Hey, it's Candy Evie here and welcome to another episode of Lucky Mail Friday. So today's episode will start off with this massive package that comes all the way from Germany. There's an address on there so let me just cover that up but it definitely says Deutschland and I'm probably like butchering that. I did do German um, at GCSE level so I think I'm good with my pronunciations for the most part but look at all of these what? Oh my goodness. Oh, I don't even want to open them. The pretty pictures are just so beautiful. What? Oh my gosh. Oh, they're so colorful. I love it already, even though I don't know what's inside them. But there's a note right here, so let's take a look. Dear Lucy, I've watched your videos for a little over a year now and I love every single one. I stopped collecting cards in Generation 4 and because I don't have any use for them, I want to give them to you. Wow. So these cards are all Generation 4 or older except 5 cards or something like that. And I only took the special ones out for you. I hope you like them, even if they might be duplicates. <laughs> of course I will, is that even a question? That's so kind. I made 13 special Candy Eevee booster packs for you. Everyone has a little artwork drawn by myself on them. Hope you enjoy from Anna. I really don't know what to say, Anna. I can just tell how much love and time and effort you put into these. They just, wow. They, they all look amazing and you're really, really good at art as well because the drawings are just, they're precious. I'm just gonna have to like take them apart really, really carefully and put them on my wall because, oh, they're so adorable. Just look at this, it's the whole God of War family. <laughs> it's adorable. But, so there are no card trick in these packs and this one is a psychic type themed one. And they're all color coded as well. <laughs> you put so much time into this, I can just tell it's lovely. But I just need to tease the pack out. See, I think I've got it, got it. Right, so, oh, I think that these are all in German as well, so, wow. Wow, wow, wow. All right, so these are individually sleeved. All right, I get it now. Oh my gosh. Ah, these cards are all in German, but they are, of course, all from the Generation 4 sets, and um, in contrast to um, some of my uh, <laughs> episodes more recently, I actually am familiar with the Generation 4 set symbols because I've like been binding all of these sets so I know that this one is from Stormfront and I think that this is like only the third card that I've ever got from Stormfront and it just looks so cool. <gasps> so Driftlim or um, Drivzipelli. <laughs> There's Prudox which is Dust Dogs from uh, Platinum Base. There's Cresselia, huh that has the same name does it, from um, Majestic Dawn. Uh, incognito or unknown from I believe that's Great Encounters. I could be wrong, but <laughs> there we are. These are all reverses as well, and most of them are rares, if not all of them, I think. There's another Driftblim from Diamond and Pearl Base, Rosa Raid from Stormfront, Jirachi from Ooh, it's on the tip of my tongue. I think that one's unleashed. I'm pretty sure that the star is unleashed, yeah, I think it is. Ooh, this one's a hollow. Wait, was the Jirachi a hollow? Huh. Very, very slightly. I think it's just this light in the room. Sometimes, um, the light in this room makes the, um, the cards look really weird. But, here we are. There's a, uh, Chlau Tron Magil from the same set. There's, ooh! Oh, whoa! This is a third generation holo, but I don't know if this is from a set that I recognize. And maybe it's just from Deoxys and I'm really stupid. But, whoa! Oh, oh that's so cool! A German Azelf level X from Legends Awakened. <laughs> that's the one. Uh, Legends Awakened and Stormfront are the only two Generation 4 Sinnoh sets I don't have binded, so I remember that one. But, whoa! That looks, oh, that looks stunning! Just even that pack alone is gorgeous and I... Uh, I don't know if I can continue because they look so beautiful. Oh, I feel like the entire episode is more or less going to be dedicated to this one package just because there is so much stuff. 
so many gorgeous cards to cover. Oh, whoa. So this Torchic is from EX Emerald. I think quite a few of them might be actually. There's this one, it's called Flem, Flemly? <laughs> Jug, Junglut. Uh, this is a regular rare blazer. I'm really confused. This must have come from a theme deck because I know in generation 3 and 4, um, at the very least, the hollows, they come at the very beginning of the set. But this is a regular rare, so I'm assuming that this must have come from a theme deck, but Blaziken in German is Logok. Logok. I'm sorry. Whoa, a base set Charmander called Glumanda. Whoa. First edition Dark, dark Charmeleon, which is Dunkel's Glu Glutexo. Whoa. Dark Charizard, which is Dunkel's Glut. I'm sorry, I'm butchering. <laughs> Send a call from Unseen Forces, Furigal. There's um, Quilava from the same set, Igrelva. These are all new names to me, so I'm sorry. There's a, okay, I know I've seen this name before because someone has sent me a, um, a Tyranitar Prime before, so I know I've seen this one in German. This is Tunupto, Tunupto. I'm sorry. Oh, oh, no way. Oh, no way. You did not just send me a freaking Tyranitar eggs. Oh, no, egg. I can't. I'm at a loss for words. This thing is just beautiful. Well, I guess that's the third. That's the first. This is the, uh, the first time that I've ever been sent an old school eggs. In Lucky Mail. Oh my gosh, I have no words. That thing is so beautiful. <gasps> Look at the shine on that thing. I'm sorry, I'm just gonna have to take it out of the sleeve for a minute, but oh my gosh. And considering you said that you used to collect these back in the day, this is in beautiful condition. Oh my goodness, what? <sighs> wow, I have some mad respect for you, Anna, because I, I didn't keep my cards in that great of condition. I mean, I thought that I did, but now that I'm looking back on a few of them the last month or two, they have a lot of scratches on them, and they definitely aren't in that good condition. Oh wait, this one is Burning Steel. I wonder what that could mean. Does that mean that it's both a uh, Metal and Fire types? Hmm. I do know that um, there is a Flareon in um, Generation 3 that is both Metal and Fire type consecutively, so it kind of reminded me of that. but. Wait, are there multiple cards in this? No, I just picked more than one at once. Okay, there's a Rolt Stelza species. Ooh, a Growlithe from Besa in Japanese. Ooh, nice. Reverse Rare Torkoal from uh, Legends Awakened. Ooh, another Reverse Rare Torkoal from uh, Unleashed. Ooh, would you look at that? I didn't even know that this existed. So apparently there is, um, there's a Jinx Delta species. Nice, and it's a fire type. Neat, I didn't know that. <laughs> Ooh, Infernape from Majestic Dawn. Oh, oh, no. No, you didn't. You didn't. You didn't. No, you didn't do that. <laughs> I'm broken. I've, I've broken, I've broken, Oh, This isn't even the last card in the pack, how? I know you guys are like probably really, really confused right now, but this is a secret rare from Stormfront. The, um, there are three in the set, being Charmander, Charmeleon, and Charizard. They're all reprints of the ones from base set with, um, new artwork to kind of imitate the style. They all look amazing, and I can't, I just have to put it aside for a moment. Oh, whoa! A Molt Chase from Stormfront, and then the final card. Whoa! Magnezone level X. I've never seen this card before, but it looks insane. Oh, I can't. There is still like a ton more boosters left. I cannot thank you enough, Anna. This is, this is crazy. This is just, oh, probably one of the craziest packages I've ever been sent. So there's a Voltal Bow from EX Emerald. Lector Bow. <laughs> A Skorkogla, that's a Delta species from, I believe that's Hole in Phantoms. I could be totally wrong and I probably am, but Pikachu. Ibitak from Crystal Guardians. 
Now this one must be from a theme deck, because funnily enough, I um I just ordered one of these as like a little surprise gift for Brendan, but it was a hollow, so I guess this must be from a theme deck, huh? That was very strange, but beautiful, beautiful artwork. I seriously love it. Next is a dog Jolteon from Team Rocket. Ooh. Ah, oh, reverse rare Jolteon from Majestic Dawn. Oh, that's so cool. Oh, that's some memories right there. This is uh, one of the only like good cards that I ever pulled when I was like really little and collecting cards. I pulled it in hollow form, but I still have it to this day and it's in pretty good nick. But wow. And then oh, a beautiful Luxray Hollow. Just look at the shine on that. This one is also from Legends Awakened, but oh I can't. These cards are just incredible. They are absolutely insane. Wow. Let's go on to the next one. So this one is um, Mewtwo Returns. I really like that pun because it's obviously based on the first movie. That's so cool. Ah. Right, so I'm guessing this is psychic type theme, but we've got cards from Expedition Base Set. This room's from Skyridge. I really like that artwork. For a cadaver, that's really cool. Ooh. This Alakazam from Expedition. Ooh! Diamond and Pearl Base, Miss Mage's Hollow. Ah! Another Miss Mage's Hollow. <laughs> Ooh! I've seen this one before and I love its artwork. It is so beautiful. Mew from Secret Wonders, I believe. The next one is Mewtwo from Majestic Dawn. Another Mewtwo reverse rare. Ooh, this is Mewtwo in hollow form from the same set. And then, ah, oh, an original Mewtwo hollow from base set. Ooh, I'm just gonna put that aside there. These cards are too much. I'm gonna end up like passing out. Oh my goodness. The dark side of Dingus. I love it. I love it. I love it. <laughs> These names are amazing. Wow. Oh! Dog Dragonite First Edition Hollow. Look at that. I'm sorry the light is like making it look really weird, so I'll try and like um, have it focus in. Oh, Dog Dragonite. <gasps> There's a Natu Delta Species. Zatu Delta Species. Team Magma's. Um, my Tiana, I was getting confused and it's a uh, Mag, Magna Yen. Wow! Oh my gosh, that's so cool! Dark Eye Hollow from Great Encounters. Another Dark Eye Hollow from Great Encounters, I never realized there were two. Hmm, I think this is a reverse rare? Yeah, it is, from uh, Mysterious Treasures, so very, very early Diamond and Pearl base. And ooh, this is the very, very first Arceus card from the, uh, the little subset. I've never actually seen this one before, but it looks so cool. Eee. All right, so this one is Majestic Jungle. That's really cool. So here we go. There's um, a Sceptile from EX Emerald. Ooh, Reverse Rare Worm Adam from uh, Secret Wonders. Reverse Rare Cradilly. Victory Bell. Wow. Best be quiet. I'm just a loss for words because like I've just got back into collecting Generation 4 and I've never even seen most of these cards. Tangrowth, wow. Wow, EX Deoxys has some crazy reverse foil. Look at that. That shift tree is insane. Oh, whoa. Wow, there's a neat story behind this. This is a theme deck promo. You don't normally get this shaman in hollow form. So a German theme deck promo? This is crazy! And another one! And the Shaman Level X! Ah! This is crazy! Okay, so this one is definitely a promo because I know that it is part of um, a tin trio? Or is it a duo? No, it's a trio. It's a trio along with Giratina and Dialga. It just randomly replaced Palkia for some reason, I don't know why. But wow! It's so beautiful! Right, so this one is Magnetic Storm. All these booster packs, for the most part, they they sound like they could be legitimate set names. So you should like go and work for Pokemon, because um, if you came up with the set names, and I would, um, I'd be really impressed. But whoa, beauty already! Electivire Hollow. 
Magneton Base Set Hollow, Magnezone Hollow from Stormfront, Dioga Hollow, another Dioga Hollow, <laughs> another Dioga Hollow. <laughs> ah, a Dioga level eggs. <laughs> another Magnezone level eggs. Another Dioga level eggs. <laughs> I can't, this is overwhelming. Look at all of these cards. I can't. This is like your entire collection, isn't it? I just, oh, you really don't have to send me so much stuff. Wow, 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 wow. But this one is called Wavy Ocean and it starts off with a beautiful Luminion. Then there's an Obama Snow, Golduck, Glalie. Ooh, I've seen this artwork before and it's really, really pretty. This is from Legends Awakened and it is called Politoed. Ooh, Empoleon. Feraligator. Ah! Oh no! Oh no! No! <laughs> I mean, I'm saying no, but I'm thinking yes internally. It's just, oh! Oh my. Oh. What? What? Freaking Salamence Delta Species! This thing is insane! What? You know that you've like pretty much doubled my old school EX collection right there? I pulled two and I'm kind of like holding on to two for my sister that she pulled back in the day, but of ones that I like technically own, you've doubled my collection right there. That's insane. But this one is the big wave. It sounds intense. All right, so there's a Krabby from Fossil, Kingler from Fossil, Magikarp from Bayset. Oh, Giovanni's Gyarados. <laughs> I don't know which gym set this is from. It might be Gym Challenge. I could be wrong. I think Gym Heroes is first and then it's Gym Challenge. But next, ooh, a Gyarados from Stormfront. There's a Zumro Hollow. What? Whoa, Mamo Swine Hollow, Feraligator Hollow, Kyogre Reverse Rare, and Palkia Level Eggs. <gasps> the pile is just uncontrollable. The pile cannot be controlled. This is crazy. But this one is called a colorless fight. Hmm, so I'm guessing that means that it's like a mixture of a colorless type and fighting type cards. And I'm really intrigued to see what's in it. Whoa! So this one has a reverse rare Gliscor. There's reverse rare Kabutops. Ooh, Rayferia Hollow from Diamond and Pearl Base. What? Torterra Hollow. Licky Licky Hollow. Flygon Hollow. <gasps> Whoa! Now that is a beauty. That one is Pidgeot Hollow from Fire Red and Leaf Green. Well, EX Fire Red and Leaf Green, but it is beautiful! Another Reggie Gigas Hollow. And then Reggie Gigas Level X, which is the final card in the Stormfront set. Oh, I can't talk! I can't talk! There's so much beauty everywhere! But there are two final packs. I'm gonna open the Cutie Pie Special first. And it is definitely a Cutie Pie Special because it has a shiny Yammer on the front. So I can tell why this is one of the special ones. Oh, look at that! It's a Minin! Pachirisu Reverse Rare, Delcaddy Reverse Rare, Delcaddy Hollow. Ah! Oh, whoa! This is a card that I like keep raving on about between episodes. This card is just, it's so beautiful, and now it's in reverse rare form. This is the first time I've seen it like this, and it's so pretty. <gasps> wow. Now that one is really, really pretty. Look at it. Manaphy Hollow. There's Glaceon reverse rare. Glaceon Hollow. Whoa. Leafeon Hollow. Jirachi. It's so cute. And then, hmm. Behind this is the best card ever. Be curious. I am kind of curious, so let's see. What could it be? <gasps> it is! It is! It's a Yanma! Oh, 
<laughs> I was hoping it would be one. Look at that artwork. Oh, that's so cool. I think I have this in reverse form as a gift from Brendan, but this is the first time that I've had this in regular. So that is going to go very, very nicely. Oh, it's so cute. I love it. But there is one final, final pack being the very special pack. So yeah, let's open it. Got it. All right, so this one has, oh, it's a McDonald's promo. Moon and McDonald's promo. Oh, that's so cool. Wait, is this like a set of them? I don't have the clink for sure, but what else? There's, wow, a bunch of them. These are McDonald's promos from like black and white days. That's so cool. Ordino. Huh, wow, hmm. I've never seen one of these before. This is a um, a Korean Ordino from Radiant Collection. Korean Servine, Korean Rolts. Whoa, and a Korean God of War. Wow, I've never seen this before. Is this real? I think it is. I've never actually seen um, Korean Legendary Treasures cards before. This isn't Legendary Treasures. I guess in Korea they, um, they released it the same way that they did in Japan. Behind here is a really bad fake card. Huh. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I haven't even seen it yet. But look at this. Look at the size comparison. What? The camera does it a lot more justice than it deserves. But look at this. <laughs> what? It looks like a sticker. It feels like a sticker. Is it a sticker? It is. It's a sticker. It's a freaking sticker! That's amazing! That's actually amazing! It's a sticker! Did you know that? Oh, I need a break! I need a break! <laughs> wow, well, I think that this is the first time that one episode has been dedicated to a single package, but this is probably one of the most insane packages I have ever received! Just look at all of these good cards. I am at a loss for words. But Anna, I really cannot thank you enough and it would be awesome if you guys in the comments could kind of just show Anna how awesome we think she is because I just, I have no words for this massive pile of beauty. Ah, oh, just thank you so, so much. But yeah, I think that's just about gonna do it for today's episode. I hope that you enjoyed this and I will see you next week for more mail time fun. Bye.